We continue our family focus series this morning, a partnership with First by Fresno County. And this week we are shining a spotlight on bullying. Yesterday we talked about how to recognize bullying and victims behavior. We also talked about the importance of early intervention by parents. Well today we explore what parents can do, especially if they think their kid might be overly aggressive. Here's Lindsay Pena. Central Valley Today presents Kid Matters, brought to you by First Five Fresno County. Kendra Rogers says her five-year-old daughter Nova has always had a strong personality, but she never thought it would cause problems with other kids. The not being very nice to some of her friends there, you know, not wanting them to play with her, not wanting to have them um, with, share her toys. Once the Rogers were aware of the issue, they immediately began working with their daughter, recognizing that time was of the essence. Now what seemed so innocent before now is a kid that's, that's really turned into a real bully um, later on. The Rogers sat down with Nova and talked about how her actions were making others feel. They also spoke with other parents at her preschool and the teacher to make sure everyone was working to help the kids get along. We had to equip her with the tools and the skills that she needed to be more effective you know, in how she was um, handling and expressing those feelings. Experts say the Rogers did exactly what parents in their situation should. Lynette Ratzliff is a child care expert. She says there are some simple ways parents can prevent and deal with behavior issues. Perhaps the most important, setting a good example, especially in a difficult situation. And then they need to speak about those feelings, express those, but then also demonstrate the appropriate way to act when that happens. In addition to showing kids how to act, Ratzliff says parents should also talk about emotions. Reading time can be a perfect opportunity. So when you're reading your children's books, you know, before bedtime or whenever, you know, look at those pictures and say, how is Johnny feeling? You know, look at his face. Is he sad? And talk about how they, um, how children are feeling and how your child is feeling and give them the language in order to express themselves and, and talk about it. Whether it's through books, life experiences, or just a casual conversation, Ratzliff says parents should spend plenty of time making sure their child is expressing their feelings and dealing with problems in a healthy way. Well, throughout all the schools, uh, many of the schools in Fresno County, there are anti-bullying efforts. And now administrators are partnering with Rachel's Challenge with more on what that is and how they're handling bullying in Fresno County is Larry Powell, the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. So good to have you here, Thank Larry. Thank you, Alex. Nice to be with you. Now, this is, is this a big problem in Fresno County Schools or is this something you want to catch early on, you bullying? You know, every school has bullying. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of degrees okay. and whether or not we face it and deal with it. And so the, the good news with Rachel's Challenge is it brings a different approach to it. It's not an in-your-face program. But it's an opportunity to bring kindness and compassion back to the classroom, and that's what we're after. I think every kid's been bullied one way or another, or sometimes you've been a bully, and we're trying to eliminate that. I, you can't be safe at school if you're fearful, and so we're trying to reduce the fear. We're trying to make kids safe at school, and we're trying to prime the pump for learning, and a, a safe environment does that. Tell me a little bit more about Rachel's Challenge and how it came about. What is it exactly, this program? Well, uh, Rachel Scott was the first student killed at Columbine back in 1999, and her father, Daryl, started a program called Rachel's Challenge to bring kindness and compassion back to schools. Rachel had a fantastic history in her short life of doing that very thing, defending the, uh, the down and outer, uh, the special ed student or special needs student. She stood in front of kids and said, don't you come after these. I'm going to protect them. She's a little bitty thing yeah. and, and just had a great heart for understanding that kindness and compassion is a part of what we should be doing. And, and how many schools is Rachel's Challenge going on right now? Well, we've had about 50 out of 325 wow, that have Rachel's good. Challenge okay, programs. Okay. And uh, it's a wonderful opportunity because uh, it gives the kids an outlet. It gives them an opportunity to do something positive. At high school, they're called four clubs, okay. Friends of Rachel. And okay, so it's so a it's unique clubs thing. that are formed at each school. Yep. And these kids in these clubs, what are their responsibilities? Well, they're to look for the kid that's the down and outer, that's the okay. loner, that's separate. Uh, look for uh, helping to resolve issues by bringing uh, an opportunity for them to talk to an administrator or an adult on campus. But it's, it's bringing that sense of, I'm responsible for other people, yeah. you know, and I've got to do some good things to help make that happen. At what age is, do you think that this is a good program for? You know what, we're doing it at, at elementary 
elementary, middle, really? and high school. Yeah, okay. at the middle school, it's called a chain link club. Okay. At the elementary school, it's called a KC club, kindness and compassion. Oh, yeah, wow. it's wonderful. And, it w and we're hoping to get it in, in, in all of the schools in Fresno County, but that takes a, a little bit of funding, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Uh, about $2,500 uh, uh, for each uh, assembly. And then we have a, a program that establishes the club and connects you with another Rachel's Challenge school and a partner in Columbine. Mm -hmm. And so we have an opportunity to keep you on your toes with how do you keep this going? Uh, because kindness and compassion is uh, something you have to work at. Interestingly yeah. enough, it doesn't seem to come natural to a lot of people. Yeah. Well, I think it's great that you are putting this at the forefront considering all the budget cuts right now and a lot of money that is coming in could be possibly yep. used for other programs, but this is very important to you, isn't it? Well, if a kid's safe at school, they're going to learn. So I want to make them safe first. Once they feel good about being at school, then we can prime the pump for learning. And how have the kids responded? Incredibly well. I yeah. mean, uh, one kid put a big sign up after the assembly, and it said, I'm sorry. He went and stood out at the bus stop. He had been a bully all his life, and he was a big man on campus, no. football player. Really? So it, it impacts kids instantly. I mean, I, I've seen it seven times, the assembly, and I've cried every time. You can't help but be impacted by it. Wow, and I know this is, is a program that is nationwide. It is. So we are very lucky to have it here in our area and in the valley. And it's in Madera County. It's okay. now in Tulare County and Kings County, uh, San Benito. It's expanding throughout California. That's fantastic. It's rachelschallenge.com. Rachelschallenge.com if you want to find out more information or just look it up really because it really is Absolutely. a great program and we have to figure out ways to get it to every single school here in the valley. And also, you know, if you want more information on anything that the schools are doing over at Fresno County, you can contact them at F or look them up at FCOE.org, FCOE.org, or call them at 265-3000 as that number for Fresno County. Thank you so Thank much. You, Alex. I know you're super busy, so well, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks every time for giving you take me time. time. Rachel's oh. Challenge, great thing. Yes, it sure is. Thanks for bringing it to our school. Thank you. Okay, still to come here on Central Valley today, the difference a good remodel can make. We are live at Nelson Dye Remodeling at a beautiful home that they have redone with a look. So stick around. We'll be right back.